The Amazing World of Gumball follows a young cat named Gumball Watterson who has a natural knack for getting in trouble. With the help of his best friend slash pet slash brother who grew legs Darwin, well-meaning parents, and super smart little sister, Gumball gets into all kinds of antics on this Cartoon Network original. Which moments stand out? Well, let's review. I'm Chris Carr, here are my top five best moments in Gumball. Number five. Maybe I'm just in a festive mood, but I loved when the Watterson family met Santa. We get Richard sporting some Clark Griswold-esque holiday attire, doing what Richard does best, screwing things up. In the aptly titled season two episode, Christmas, Richard hits a homeless dude with his car, and the guy has a striking resemblance to good old Saint Nick. He's got crazy long white hair that covers his whole face, a big old belly, but definitely doesn't smell like candy canes and is rocking some pretty beat up clothes. But when Richard hits him again, Santa regains his memories and is restored to his former glory. Dude is luminescent. The moral of the episode? Be kind to everyone, because they could be a legendary godlike figure who's responsible for your happiness. Or it's just nice to do, tomato tomato. Please like this video. Number four, da doy, time travel is making my list. In season three, we are gifted with the episode, The Countdown. Here, Gumball and Darwin miss the bus after Miss Simeon threatens to expel our dudes if they're late again. Our feline and fish duo literally race against the clock, performing parkour. It's the fastest way to get from A to B. <laughs> they end up getting chased by Miss Simeon, who is way too eager to get them expelled. And Gumball somehow breaks the fourth wall, busts open the screen and timer, and freezes the whole universe, only to be then sent to prehistoric times, deal with clones, paradoxes, and your typical time travel tropes. I think we just broke time. It's Doctor Who. Speed, time turners, Ferris Bueller, all wrapped up in an adorable animation. And my explanation does it no justice, so just go watch this one, y'all. Number three. For those of us who played Portal and thought, well, this could be a fun thing on the schoolyard, this story is a hit. In this episode, Gumball and Darwin battle Tobias with their favorite video game weapons. We're talking portals, we're talking shrink guns, flat cannons, ray guns, and sure, it's all in their mind, but that's how kids play. This bit totally captures the power of imagination, and I think it's safe to say makes us all wish we could go outside and fake zap our friends instead of doing another stupid assignment. Brandon. I'm just kidding, I love you. Number two, mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for origin stories. And come on, part of you had to wonder how Nicole and Richard ended up together. The episode Taking a Different Path has Nicole examine what it would have been like to not have met Richard, since he seems to be responsible for a lot of her own unhappiness. You know, light topic for a kid's show. I really do love her realizing how much she loves him and the life they've made together, and the fact that finding your perfect person makes both of you better. No joke here, folks. Just go out there and love each other. In our number one slot, we have got to give it to that epic anime fight between Gumball's mom and Masami's mom. Why does this fight look way cooler than, like, half the animes I've seen? Inuyasha and Goku can go ahead and take uh, one piece of advice from this fight, right? You see what I did there? I'm appealing to nerd culture! Of course, these are just a few of the fantastically fun gumball moments, so be sure to let me know which are your favorites in the comments below. See you, Space Cowboy.